Hey, welcome back everyone, Jay Barino here, continuing Ascension of Duran, a custom campaign for StarCraft 1. We're heading into Mission 2, it's technically Mission 1, the first map was really a, a cinematic, so it's kind of like Map 2, Mission 1. The test, can Duran prevent the Protoss from gaining a stronghold on Ire? So from what I can gather, this does take place uh, between Episodes 5 and 6, maybe during Episode 5. I think it's during Episode 5, technically, because he came to Kerrigan talking about the Dilarian shipyards. So I think it's it's somewhere around Brood War before episode six. It could be it could be during episode four, it could be during episode five, it's kinda hard to tell, but let's get going. The Ascension of Duran episode two, the test. Welcome, Duran, to Ayer's North Pole. Although this part of Ayer was mostly uninhabited, my scouts have recently detected a Protoss presence nearby. The Protoss are trying to regain a stronghold on their planet, and I will not allow it. I want you to make sure that they can't gain, gain a base of operations on Ayer. Beware, Duran. There's a Protoss commander stationed here. Once alerted to your presence, he will stop at nothing to see you are eliminated. Of course, Cerebrit. My queen, I assure you the Protoss base shall be leveled and the Protoss commander is executed. I don't understand this, Protoss. Why must we collect the Maelstrom Crystal from this Protoss temple? You'd be best to hold your tongue, Cerebrit. The Maelstrom Crystal is an artifact left by the Zelnaga on Shakuras and is guarded by the finest Dark Templar warriors. What I want you to do is convince your queen to pursue this artifact. Once it is collected, I will use its power to free you from her control. Interesting. We had a cool, unique, custom Protoss Dark Templar portrait there. Destroy the Shellic Tribe Nexus. Execute the Protoss Commander. All right, well, let's see what we're getting ourselves into here. The first real map. Bump up the game speed. Duran, take these, the deadliest of my minions. They will serve you well. Thank you, Cerebrit Thor. Oh, we got some hunter killers and devouring ones. That's pretty neat. I like that there's custom music here. Let's go ahead and get mining. Cerebrit, our landing site is almost devoid of resources. It seems we'll have to find a new place to gather minerals and Vespine gas. I believe there's a small Protoss outpost south of us that could solve our problems. Okay. Well, one thing I'm noticing is we already have Overlord Speed that's actually quite nice. I would really actually love to go and try to poke in and see what's in that new base. I mean, I can throw it on a save. There's our Legacy of the Confederation saves. Uh, Ascension of Duran. So, well, it's technically map two. That's fine. So, I'm going to save, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and take my, my Hero Zerg and bring him on down. And I have to remember that this is Brood War. So, what that really means is that there are... New units that I'm not used to playing against. So there there are Dark Templar, for example, here that you know I'm not used to going up against. So I actually have to make, sh make sure that I bring Overlords with me. In fact, I'm going to bring at least two in case there are random Dark Templar that are just going to be hanging out. I could turn these into Sunken Colonies. That's probably not worth it. I'm just going to get another Hatchery. And I do have Hydra Chamber. So let's get uh, Hydralist Movement Speed, Zergling Movement Speed, and get an Evolution Chamber just to get started here. And we're just going to keep getting more and more drones. Now, unfortunately, you know, I don't know if you've been following my Retribution playthrough, but, you know, I've talked about a lot of macro mechanics from Brood War, um, you know, that were pretty restrictive back in the day. Like, you can't rally your workers right onto minerals and things like that. So there wasn't that much macro. There was a little bit of macro, but not much macro in Legacy the Confederation. The first mission here is macro, so um, I'm just looking around. I don't know what to expect. I should really be just checking with my overlords to see where I'm going. Now let's go ahead and get missile attacks, get a second evolution chamber. I have a circling selected, that's why that's not allowing me to do that. And just give me some drones. And you know what, we can bring, we can bring everything. I mean, we just have to get down here. And uh, overlords, let's, uh, let's take a gander at what we're up against. We can float you on the high ground and avoid enemies. I don't know how loud this music is, and I hope that it's not really, really jarring for people to listen to. There are Dark Templar, look at that. Okay, let's move on up. I do have Duran in here. Maybe I should avoid bringing him? He's not infested, so he won't regenerate his health, which is a little scary. But let's go. Move on in. Everybody get on in there. They do have a standing force here, but we have Hero Zerg, keep in mind. That's actually kind of a big deal. 
I think once we move in there and destroy this cannon, we'll be in just fine shape. Let's just make sure we move up and make sure we kill these, uh, these Dark Templar that are just in this base. Alright, let's come on over and just destroy these cannons, and it looks like now we already have a base set up here, ready to go. So I'm gonna grab, uh, just one drone. I could make two hatcheries down here, that may be overkill. You guys move on up and start getting rid of this so that we have an opportunity to, uh... So that we have an opportunity to build this, uh, hatchery as soon as we get down there. So I've noticed, I mean, one thing I've learned by playing a lot of StarCraft 1 lately is it does pay off to scout early and figure out what you're up against. I think it was worth gathering up my army. And, you know, it's my first time playing this campaign. I say, you know, who dares wins? So why not? Maybe we were going to get hit by a huge early attack. Maybe not. And the only way to know is to just try some stuff out. And I tried it out and it worked out. I do plan on making another uh, hatchery down here. So I'm going to make one, you know, right... Here, then I'll make another one slightly closer to the geyser. So all of you guys, why don't you just hang out here so that we can keep this defended, and then just in case, I can turn all these into sunken colonies. That's a spore colony. You can turn all these into sunken colonies in case they want to bypass that middle base and then come and attack us. Okay, so it looks like we can have... Well, I don't know. We, maybe we can have up to plus one or plus two. I'm not sure. We're going to find out here pretty soon. That Ursodon, I keep seeing it on the minimap and thinking that it's a different enemy than it is. And let's grab Groove Spines, and we can't... Oh, we can get Metabolic Boost, so perhaps our entire tech tree is unlocked. Go ahead and hotkey my hatcheries. And just for fun, not really for fun, but for the sake of our economy, let's go ahead and get another hatchery down here closer to that geyser, because we're going to need all this gas. The fact that they give us a decent amount of minerals here is a sign to me that we're going to have access to pretty much everything that we could possibly want. I do like this music. Again, I, I, I'll have to look into turning it down. It's not really the, it's not technically the in-game music. It's actually the uh, the in-game sound effects in, in StarCraft 1, because this is triggered music. So it's, it is by the sound effects and not by the music. The music is simply turned off. At least I'm pretty sure it is. If it's not, then that, you know, that's a big problem. But I, I don't hear the normal initial music in the background, so we should be in good shape. And we're not getting attacked, so I think we're, we're square right now. Uh, I will get increased Overlord's sight range, and I can't afford it. That's fine. Um, all of you drones, come on down here. Your drones also don't automatically split, so I do tend to do this as they're moving. I mean, I do sometimes. I don't all the time. But I do like to move my drones as they're, as they're moving across. Six and seven. I do like to move, um, change, you know, where they start mining, because otherwise... Um, they don't split like they do in, in StarCraft right 2, just something to keep in mind. And it's possible that the Protoss just won't attack us. It seems like maybe they don't know we're here. We did destroy one of their bases, but they're just leaving us alone. I saw that we can oh, we can make Defilers this mission already, which is quite interesting, but uh, not necessarily a huge boon for us, because if we're expecting to come against Reavers or High Templar, they're just going to storm through the, the swarm, and it doesn't matter. So really, I mean, against Protoss... Dark Swarm is good against carriers. It's really good against carriers and scouts, but for the most part, it's not going to help you because with Zealots, they're just going to smash through your melee under the swarm, unless you have a lot of Ultralisks. Um, most of the time, though, you're going to probably just be focusing on... Probably just focus on having a lot of Hydralisks under the swarm. I realize probably wasting money on these uh, sunken colonies was not really worthwhile, but that's okay. Lurkers! Finally, I can make Lurkers! What a dream! Did I not get Carapace level 1? Whoops. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and start these two. And let's go ahead and get a Lurker upgrade. Not quite. That's okay. Let's just focus on... See, at this point, I'm not going to split my drones. But if I have time to just blow, then I will sp split my drones. We actually have a lot of uh, gas right now, so I'm not really focused on saturating that yet. We're going to need Overlords. And this map is not small, so we may be in for a slightly longer episode here. It really just depends. I mean, anything is better than some of the slog missions that we went through for uh, Retribution recently. So I'm glad that that's over, but it, I mean, I don't know what we're really up against in the long run. On these maps, I wouldn't be surprised if we see like a huge absurd macro mission, because you have to think in StarCraft 1, you can get pretty innovative with modding MPQ files, but to a certain extent, if you want to make something really, really hard, unless you make it just like a grueling micro mission that's very unforgiving, as we saw with Legacy of the Confederation, odds are you're looking at just an enormous, like, max map size with just unlocked tech tree with maybe some interesting custom units. But other than that, that's, I mean, that's where you're going to experience most of the challenges. Look at Enslavers. Blizzard released those maps 
after um, StarCraft came out, and they're like, well, we gotta make this harder somehow. Make the maps bigger, and make the player just have to kill everything. And it was a pain in the ass, so, uh... We're gonna be dealing with that. I feel like I keep hearing Zerg sound effects happening in the background with this music. It's, it's pretty neat. You know what? I have to do this. This Ursodon, I keep seeing it, and I see blue Protoss. I think I'm seeing blue Protoss on my minimap, so... It needs to go. Okay, so we're waiting for this. Um, that's gonna allow me to get Adrenal Glands, which will help a lot. We already have Metabolic Boost. This is gonna get mined out very shortly, and we can move these drones down here. I think we're oversaturated right here. Um, the amount of drones that you need to saturate in StarCraft 1, I think, is significantly lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and rally here. And I have four, four, five, six, seven, right? Okay, so four, five, six, seven. And then just start getting Hydralisks right now. And that'll, you know, that'll keep us pretty square. We know we get one or two Defilers in case we need them. Uh, defilers are so terribly good, but I also don't like having to get them if I don't have to. I don't know why, I just, I'm not the biggest of fans. I can also cloak Duran and look around, but, you know, we're in StarCraft 1 territory here, and frankly, I don't want to risk losing just because we lose our hero. I probably should be saving, too. Is there a quick save option in StarCraft 1? Someone said just try F2, F3, F4, but I don't think that that works. No, F2, move me up here. No, none of those work. So I'd be curious to know if anyone knows if there is a quick save. I don't think there actually is. I believe the main protest base has been notified of our actions. Prepare yourself, Cerebrate. Okay, well, fuck. <laughs> that was a mistake. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a Defiler Mound. And I can't get an Ultralisk Cavern either, so the best I can do is have casters. Um, I could get some queens, too, but I don't really see the benefit of that because I can't... Well, eh. I could spawn Parasite... I could spawn Broodling, rather, on uh, on High Templar, which would be really, really helpful. I mean, I, I need a few Defilers. That's just sort of the way it is. I'm going to need a few Defilers here if I want to break through, like, a very, very large Protoss base. And all I can do... Oh, I can make Lurkers, too. So I can do Lurkers and Hydralis. That's going to be my bread and butter here with, a, you know, a few Zerglings in there. Metabolic boost. That's not, that's adrenal glands. Jay Barino, if you call adrenal glands metabolic boost one more time, I am unsubscribing and, and disliking every single one of your videos. Thumbs down, no stars. Okay, we're gonna need overlords. So let's get the overlords. And they're all gonna rally down here because I really don't feel like changing my hotkeys. And you, you can't rally from an egg like you can in StarCraft 2. Just really minor UI changes that. You know, uh, they're more of a hassle than anything. Like, you can say what you want about the pathing changes. You know, the way that units clump in StarCraft 2 is not necessarily a great thing in many instances. In fact, it makes AoE way too powerful compared to StarCraft 1, where tank splash damage isn't that bad because your units don't clump, whereas in StarCraft 2, it's, it can be absolutely devastating. Same goes for all sorts of, uh, all sorts of uh, AoE spells. But um, in, in StarCraft 1, your units stay very, very spread out. Good lord, this was so many overlords. You guys go back home. Go back home. But, you know, on the, on the plus side, StarCraft 2, they, it streamed on a lot of stuff that was just a pain in the fucking ass that you otherwise didn't really have to worry about. All right, we probably want to get Consume. I don't care much about Plague right now. Plague is a good spell, I suppose. It's, it's better when the AI has control of it because they just land it, like, fucking perfectly every time. Okay, let's just get a bunch of Hydralisks. I saw one Reaver down there. The question is, is the AI set to any... Oh, here they come. I say, is the AI set in a way such that it'll actually use uh, the Reaver building abilities? Maybe not. Seems like they're just going to be building a bunch of uh, a bunch of zealots. There's our defilers. This is just so many, so many overlords. I'm going to hotkey them all to one so I can move them around in case I need them because it certainly seems like there's going to be a lot of dark, uh, dark templar on this map. Hydralisks are the name of the game, and if we have to, well, we don't, I mean, we don't have to, but we probably want to make some lurkers. Alternatively, just mass hydralisks certainly makes me quite jolly. Okay, and I'm thinking we just save our cash right now and we get plus three missile attacks. I mean, I can get macroed up so fast as Zerg when we're getting attacked by pure zealot. I mean, we're just going to blast through that. So we can just wait for these plus twos. I suppose I can get level three melee attacks, but with no ultralisks, it's really not that appealing to me. I'm just gonna leave these units at home. 
rather not lose the hero ones in a in a, an attack that I'm not gonna bother with. Where did my defilers go? Oh, they're in there. It's just hard to see. Okay. So, defilers, you're gonna be two and three. Gotta hot key those separately, because if you have two specialist units... Oh, dear. Okay, well... This is unfortunate. I should have expected this. I think I need to move out very, very soon, because I do have a lot of... Uh, I do have a lot of units now, so it's time to go. Just gotta get all these units back home, unfortunately. It's just a pain. We do have cons... Uh, we, yeah, we have consumed now, so I can just start eating some Zerdlings. Uh, what are they? They're zero, zero, zero. Oh, fuck off. I mean, it's depleted, so it's not that big of a deal, but... Lurkers are good. I might just go ahead and make a bunch of lurkers. That might be that might be the right choice. Get carapace level three. Did I get miss? Oh, I got missile attacks level three just in time, I suppose. So let's uh, let's start moving units down in this direction. We got our defilers, overlords as well, just in case because we're probably gonna need you. The question is, you know, we're still gonna be getting attacked, right? So. We probably just want to make sure that we still have some units at home. All right, come on down there. And we'll leave a few Hodulisks at home just in case, and the rest we're just going to get rallied. Zerglings and Zerglings and Zerglings and Zerglings. Zoigling, Zoigling, Zoigling. And then move on up with the Defilers. Overlords, you're here. We'll keep a couple unhot keyed just in case. And I think we just gotta run in with Zerglings to take some hits from Scarabs first, because if we don't, then... Just real bad news. So if I'm lucky, those Protoss attacks aren't just spawned. Because if they, like, spawn through this cave, that's just silly. But who knows, with these modded campaigns, you never know. I noticed in Legacy of the Confed, they, you know, he really liked to spawn units out of caves and stuff. So... Assuming that they're actually attacking me from this base, I'm in really, really good shape. But who knows if that's actually what's happening. So let's go. There's a Reaver down here, so I'm not just going to throw all my units into it. There was a Reaver down here. Now there's not. I'll take it. Okay, and move up with the Overlords. Very important. Very important that we have Overlords in here in case there's just random Dark Templar. And I usually want to use Lurkers more in a defensive position, but I guess attacking, they're pretty good, aren't they? Oh, wow, I actually got that Dragoon. Uh, Zergling, look around. Yeah, pull Zealots to me so that they die. Let's see what's up here. Maybe a base? A lot of random Archons up here. I'm curious to know if this stuff needs to be killed or not. Maybe these Archons will follow me down, and I... Nope, okay. Do I need to kill that stuff? I don't know. We'll worry about that later. Keep rallying up. Hydralisks, 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 Hydralisks. We haven't been attacked again for a while, actually. I'm really nervous that they're going to just randomly attack me with a spawned attack, which would just be a pain in the ass. Oh, those are... Oh, those High Templar have attacks. Interesting. Okay, well, it's time to go. Attack into this base, my minions, and we will Dark Swarm if necessary. Let's move on up with the, uh... Move on up with the Defilers. Oh, dear. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I mean, that's... That's all we can do about that. All right, get going. I mean, I saw it, but... And I tried to move, but... Can only do so much, I suppose. One carrier. Let's go ahead and Dark Swarm right here. That'll save some of my units. The Arbiters don't bother me too much because they're, uh... Oh, I lost, I lost the Defiler. All right, we need to get out of the Swarm because they have Zealots now. Four, five, six, seven. Zergling, Zergling, Hydralisk, Hydralisk. We should be able to clean this up, no problem. Just stand out of the swarm, please. Draw them out of the swarm. There you go. And where are these units over here coming from? They must have another base that they're reinforcing with. All right, we got rid of those. Oh my god, my own dark swarm is killing me. There we go. Dark swarm is gone. Move it down this way. Start getting rid of their gateways. And I don't know if they're actually building or what spawn. That's the thing. I need to. I need to slowly figure that out as we do this. 
because they're yeah they're bringing these units here. I mean, getting rid of their pylons is something. You, why don't you come on over here and see if there's buildings? I mean, there's almost definitely more, more to this map because I see units coming over from the other side. Um, I think we've broken through though. We got rid of that giant group of uh, random high templars. So now that that's gone, we should be in much better shape. I think they are building. I think they're actually building. That's good for us because that means we're dealing with a, a fallible enemy, if you will. Okay, we can see the Dark Templar. Let's be killing them, please. Both of my Defilers are gone. Hmm. All right, well, we need to build a few, so... Defiler and Defiler. They're going to be rallied up, too. And I I mean, we got we got to keep going here. So let's move down in this direction. We don't have Dark Swarm for these carriers, unfortunately. We'll see how many there are. Okay, I mean, we are killing the Interceptors, so that's, again, it's a huge boon for us. Uh, I hear the Commander. Is this him? No, that's just a regular Archon. It must be that Zealot right there. All right, let's back up right now. I think it's this guy right here. Protoss Commander, he's got a lot of health, but he's, he's dead. He's dead, no problem. Chase that probe down. We don't want them rebuilding. It seems, oh, I see what happens. You attack the commander and then suddenly they come in with a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, they're, they're suiciding into me. Okay, so we just need lots and lots of Hydralis and Zerglings at this point. Let's just get crazy and bring up everything we've got. Say, don't tell me that's him again. I mean, we've barely done... Oh, God, that's a Reaver there. Just stay away from that area for now. Just stay away from that area. We'll have to deal with that later. Let's just rally up with my other forces and keep my Defilers alive. That's funny how they actually suicided everything to me. You, you can see they even brought the probes. That's very interesting. So we, we definitely want to keep our... Uh... Oh, what? Oh, God. <laughs> that was uh, feedback right there. This shit is driving me crazy. You guys get over here. I kind of want to just bomb into there and try to finish up that area. But I'm a little scared, <laughs> admittedly. Um, I think what I'm going to do is grab a small group and come over here and just keep this area cleaned up because it's bothering me. Oh, this is really neat. Look, this is a full-on ramp. Oh, that's really nice. That the ramp is, is hugely extended. That's a very nice modification here. So I'm assuming there's more Protoss bases over here, but hopefully, you know, if we destroy the main one, cleaning up will be very easy. Let's go ahead and bring down my my hero units here. And we just need lots and lots of Hydros. I'm doing this with brute force. I understand. Just full-on brute force here. Yeah, that... No! Oh, stop! Stop it with the feedback. Stop. Okay. Two more defilers coming up. And then we have even more we have even more units. It's really really tempting. I think that that area is going to be challenging to destroy. But who dares wins again. So let's get in there. I don't have defilers. I think I should just go for it. I probably should have saved before doing this. But again, we're not clumping up or anything, so I think we're in really nice shape. Okay, I'm moving with these overlords to make sure that we can actually see this stuff. They're not mind controlling, they only have feedback, which is actually quite nice. We have enough Hydralis to, uh, to get rid of this stuff. To even kill the interceptors, so that's very, very helpful. Please move in and kill this. Carrier's gone. I'd say we've broken in. My uh, my Zergling's tearing apart their main base. We got rid of the actual commander, unless he respawns or something. It doesn't look like it. But yeah, when you kill the command, it's either when you kill the commander or when the commander, um, when you start attacking him or when he becomes aggro, there's a trigger that seems to send every single Protoss unit on a suicide mission against you, which is actually quite interesting. So I can only imagine we have to destroy every single Protoss building, so... The, uh, the fun is only beginning 
as we track down every goddamn thing. And that's one mechanic I really could do without, just always. I just find that mechanic to be really tiresome. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe we only have to destroy part of it, but I just, it's just a mechanic that I find unnecessary and frustrating at times. I don't hear any Dark Templars, so I think we're safe from that. This would have been an excellent opportunity to bring, um... This would have been a really excellent opportunity to bring, um, a Defiler in, but it's too late now. I mean, it's never too late, but it's, it's a little too late. I also found it interesting, the, I don't know if the buildings were placed like this, but sometimes the AI does place buildings in a really wacky way by just clumping them together. I don't understand it. Let's go ahead and build more. Rally them up to the normal spot. Now we have our defilers after we really needed them. These devouring ones are awesome. They're just tearing through everything. Excellent work. I'll report your success to Kerrigan immediately. Prepare yourself for space travel and infestation, Duran. Alright, so we destroyed both Nexuses, but I suspect there were still Protoss structures. So it's possible, it's possible we're in really, really good shape in that it doesn't require me to destroy every single building. That's good. If it does destroy, I mean, because there's a pylon up here that I didn't destroy, so I really think maybe just destroy either both Nexuses or just, just this bottom left one. That's great, so I take back my previous criticisms. Fantastic. We'll see how that holds up as we move forward with future macro maps. Nice. Well, I'm liking this so far. I like the, my, the the music. I like how the tech tree is, uh, you know, it's slightly restricted. You can't just go straight to Ultralisks and Guardians and smash through Mission 1 super easily. So I'm looking forward to this. It's really shaping up to be something quite good. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.